got a new series of exam question walkthrough videos. So these are all to do with condensation polymers. This is the first one. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this so that the functional groups are on either side of the molecule. The reason I'm doing that is because it makes it much easier to form the polymer from this monomer. So what we need to do is take out, we can do it two ways, you can either take the OH group of the alcohol group and the H of the carboxylic acid group, obviously making a water molecule there, or you could do it the other way around, you could take the H of the alcohol group and the OH of the carboxylic acid group. So there's the two ways you can represent the uh, two repeats of the polymer. Just make sure that your end bonds are nice and clearly shown. So why is the polymer biodegradable? Well, it's a polyester, so it contains the ester group, which can be hydrolyzed. So any moisture in the atmosphere will break that bond by hydrolysis and the polymer will break down. Moving on to part B now, so we've got a um, repeat unit of nylon 6,6. This is a polyamide, it's got this amide bond. So we're going the other way basically, we're going from the repeat unit to the two monomers that have been used to make this. Basically we need to break the join, so the amide bond, so we're going to break it there, there and there. And we're going to turn the seedable bond door back into a carboxylic acid group and we're going to turn the NH into an NH2 group. So there's the two monomers there. So for the final part of the question where we've got to work out how many repeat units are in this um, sample of nylon 6,6. So there's the repeat unit again. I've worked out the molecular formula of it because I'm going to work out the MR and then divide it into the, the mass of the uh, polymer and see how many times that goes in basically. So the MR of the repeat is 226. When we divide that into the sample molecular mass, we get 95.1327 dot dot dot. So you can express your answer as either 95 or 96.